in basic programming language such as C, C++, Visual C++, there is always a, a point where we need to convert integer or float to string or character and vice versa. This is, a, you know, when you are making a program, you will use this a lot. So what I am trying to do is, I will make a program today and show you what are the ways, there are two, three ways of uh, conversion. So we'll see two or three ways today. Let me make a, a project, uh, MFC application will do and say it as conversion and then say OK. Next, make it dialog based. Next, finished, finish. So what we'll do is, we will write our code behind this OK. So whenever we'll call OK, we will see the conversion converted value. Double click it. And since we don't want any uh, Unicode error, I'll go to this project, properties, and general, and this to use multibyte. Apply OK. Now, I'll write the code here. So first technique is, first way is that if I have a float value, say, say float uh, x is equal to 3.14. Now I need to convert or I wish to convert this x or this value to a character array and I want this to be displayed through my program. So what I'll do is, I will make a character buffer. You can define it like this, character buffer, and the length may be of your choice. Uh, you know, long enough to contain this. Then, this is the important thing, sprintf. sprintf is the command which you are going to use, it's a function basically and you have to place the buffer character buffer and then you need to have the type of the variable you need to convert that will be percent %f and finally you will have that variable you need to convert so now our work is done x is converted and is been placed in buf now the only thing remaining is to how to display it or show it, we'll use AFX message box because we are working on VC++, we are making this program on VC++. Now it's your choice how you want to wish uh, to show it. You, may, you can use printf, you can use cout. So let me execute it for you. And by, when I say OK, this particular number is a string. This is shown as a number but it is a character array. So let's uh, get down to the second way. We have a float. Now we wish again to show it as a string or a character array. So how to do it? We'll define a say variable of C string. C string and the variable name may be say str. And we'll use this. This is again important str.format. We'll use this format command and inside it which data type to be converted we need to convert percent %f so whatever I'm saying is is true for integer also double also okay this is for float double integer same same way you just have to choose uh, the proper uh, mo x modifier here percent %d you can use percent %ld you can use so this is the variable x will give and I'll try to change buff to string because we are going to show the string. Let me execute it for you. Okay, this is the number. So second way also being told. Now let's come to the third way how to convert integer to a to a a yeah, means alphabet or a string for that 
again we'll go to the character buffer again of your choice then let's have an integer now let's do this with an integer a is equal to say 10 or say 20 then we have i to a. this is important i to a function this is integer to a and in the bracket we have to give what will give first a because we need to convert this now buff convert and place where into the buff and then any length you can give say 10 and is executed we have a warning it is saying i to a is deprecated you can, you, this is a warning okay so you you can have like this also but this is a warning i'll run it like this only if you have problem you can just place a underscore here this is the result say okay and you have the proper number which which needs to be shown and if we just place underscore let's see what will be the result and we need to convert this also okay okay this 20 is coming so this is how we can convert our integer and float to a string or a character buffer array and you can show it so thank you so much take care